Hello, and welcome to my YouTube channel, Teaching with Mrs. Farad. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and hit the notification signal to receive updates on my videos. In this video, I will go over how to make connections about the story you are reading. One of the skills in your reading response journal is to make connections during your nightly reading. You can find the following page in your reading response journal. Turn to it and read along with me. Making connections. Making connections helps readers to better understand and relate to a text. Here are the types of connections. Text to self. Connections you make to your own life or experiences. Text to text. Connections you make to a text that you have previously read. Text to media. Connections you make to other forms of media like TV, movies, and the internet. Text to world. Connections you make to events in the real world. And then right below this, you'll see sentence frames. Those are sentence starters that you can use as you're writing your paragraph when you're making the connections. First state what happened in the text, then use a sentence starter to make a connection. Here are some examples. This reminds me of, I understand because, this is similar to blank because, this makes me feel blank because, something similar happened to me when, and so on. Here's your reading task when you get making connections for homework. After reading for 30 minutes, write down two or three connections you made. Explain each connection in a paragraph. Make sure to choose different types of connections. For example, if your first connection is a text to self connection, then make sure that your second one is a text to world, not the same as your first one. Here's an example of how your notebook should be set up when you're making connections. You start by writing your name. Here in the example, we have Sandra Chalkboard. She's reading the book Esperanza Rising by Pam Munoz. So should you also put the title of the chapter in the center of the page? Write down the number of chapters you read. Here she read chapters one and two the date of the reading response and then state the skill in this case the skill is making connections i am now going to read the two examples that sandra wrote about after reading chapters one and two in esperanza rising esperanza is cutting roses in her papa's garden this reminds me of a time my father grew roses in our front yard. They were so pretty. You also had to be careful about getting cut by a thorn. So here she starts by stating what happened in the text. What was that specific text detail from the story that caused you to make a connection? To her, it was when Esperanza was cutting the roses. So she went on to explain it. Then she used one of the sentence frames, the sentence starters, to start what made her have this connection. She writes, this reminds me of a time my father grew roses in our front yard. She pushed her writing further by giving more details about the connection she wrote. They were so pretty. You had to be careful because you can get cut by a thorn. Now let's read the second example. When the vaqueros and the workers are harvesting the grapes, it reminded me of a television show I watched where the characters ran through the field and squashed grapes with their feet. Now I want you to take a look at this example. First question. What is the event that she is referring to in the book? Go ahead and read that sentence out loud. What sentence starter did she use? 
go ahead and read that out loud. And what was the connection she made with it? Go ahead and read it out loud. All right, boys and girls, thank you so much for joining me on this wonderful lesson on how to set up your reading response journals when you're making connections. Thank you for joining me on this fun lesson. Hope to see you next time.